What up? I did a little thing a little bit earlier, but it's something else that was on my mind I wanted to talk about that I want y'all to hear from uh, the ever-engaging, ever-enigmatic, friendly neighborhood spaceman. That's me. Yeah. Um, I was uh, out doing what I do, had on the headphones, right? I think I was listening to that bitch back up. Bitch back up. Joint's hard. Real life is not in cyberspace joint. Check that out. Bitch back up, right? And would you know, the thing that auto played, because I had my hands kind of busy, the thing that auto played was this other dude in that um, impoverished town that, you know, be letting niggas punk him out. Y'all know who it is if you tapped in, right? Th this nigga shit played immediately. And the first thing that was crazy and co-signing the, you know, rumors about the activity sexually that that dude is uh alleged to be into um he had on his screen he had pictures of some dude some muscled up bronze dude in a tank top a muscled up bronze dude in a tank top he had a picture of some nigger like that the fuck is y'all doing out there? He had a picture of some bronze muscled up nigger in a tank top, right? On his screen. And what makes it even worse, that nigger was me. I will never understand what that shit's about. At least from a heterosexual point of view. But then I'm listening. I, it was right on the moment he started talking some bullshit. It's that food stamp shit that he's been <laughs> talking gibberish about for a while. Worry about what people think and all that, right? So on one hand, he was saying, no, that's not gangster. I guess somebody else said it's gangster to get the food stamps or whatever. He's like, nah, that's not gangster. That's not alpha. You ain't this if you get food stamps and you ain't that if you get food stamps. So I wanted to break it down for all of y'all. So y'all could know the official order of this food stamp food chain, pun intended, right? Now. We all remember back in them days, cats from the hood, your mother's on welfare, all that type of shit. Niggas getting the cheese and they embarrassed and niggas catch you with your moms on the welfare line, all that shit and snap on you in school. That's how it is or was in New York. I'm sure it was like that for a lot of other people. Just to be straight, my mom's work, she wasn't on the welfare thing, but shout out to everybody on the welfare. But my babysitter did have that good old rectangular block of cheese. And yeah, that shit was some good shit. So shout out to welfare, you know what I mean? But that's how it was back then. Kids, the operative and the key term is kids. Certain lack of maturity mentally gotta go on with that. Yeah, niggas, kids picking shit, snapping on each other about whatever it happens. But here's the official hierarchy, right? And I said this before. An adult, let's say that works or has a reported income that will not be able to qualify for food stamps, right? We're gonna put them at the highest level. In terms of, I don't know, financial security and things of that matter. Even the, the, the food chain I'm talking about ain't even really that important to be real. But for those that's into that and want to snap on niggas and everything. All right. Top of the food chain is the person that cannot qualify for any food stamps because their income is like, nah, you, you doing too good for this, right? Under that person is the person that qualifies, that can qualify for some food stamps and goes out there and gets them food stamps, fills out the application, goes to the office, whatever they do, actually gets the food stamps, right? And then there's the, la the, the last uh, part of the food chain, the bottom. And who is under those people? The people that can get food stamps, right? But don't do it. They could financially qualify for it. They got a little bullshit job, 20 an hour, some shit, whatever going on, work part time. Whatever. They got some bullshit job so they can apply and they get approved and they can add that, you know, to the to the pot, you know, to sustain themselves month to month or whatever. Right. But they choose not to do to some bullshit social stigma. They're 
at the lowest point. So that person that was talking that shit, he's one of those people. If he's not getting food stamps, it's not because he can't or he makes too much. It's because he's under that mind control. Because that's essentially what it is. Oh, I ain't going to get these food stamps. I could, but I ain't going to do that. I'm a man. That's mind control. Meanwhile, niggas will talk about how food should be free. How the whole economic and world structure is set up. Animals... Uh, they don't pay rent. They don't got to buy groceries. Why do we have to do that? That shit should be free. This isn't even a right to have a control system where I got to buy food and all this other shit, right? They'll either say that or they'll say, oh, we black niggas, we need reparations. They'll say all that shit all day. But then when there's something actually in their face that's going along the lines of what they actually preach, free food. The way it should naturally be, they're not going to do it because they're worried about some social stigma. You see how the mind control works? You see how insane that shit is? Reparations, another thing. Shout out to the FBA niggas. I hope y'all get that bread. I heard California's giving out 300000 If you could get it, get it. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about that. That's how I feel about food stamps. That's how I felt about... um. The stimulus checks they were given during the pandemic thing. That's how I feel about um, the compensation, workers' comp, or whatever they called it, when people couldn't work due to that thing going on. Who this person is talking this shit about the food stamps? He went and got that government money. He got that free money. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? So this whole shit is just mind control. So the person that can qualify for food stamps and doesn't get it, you don't look at them and say, oh, they're alpha men. And, oh, I took my girl off food stamps, too, because I'm that nigga. No, nobody looking at you like that. We're just looking at you like a stupid motherfucker. The motherfucker that can get the joints and is getting it and eating better tonight. Shout out to EBT. They're on a more top tier than you are. And if we really got to talk about it, if we're talking about social construct and status and who could strut their stuff. It's the person that can't get the food stamps and doesn't because they can't. Now, let's go to the gangster aspect of it. Oh, you gangster. Are you getting food stamps? You a gangster. Well, it's simple. Gangster. That's, that terminology could be synonymous with an outlaw. You get it how you get it. You're used to hitting the street, a hustler. I'm used to that. You get it how you get it. Gangster. We could even take it to the core definition, being in a gang, even though the example I'm giving is mafia, might as well be a gang, essentially the same thing. Michael Francis, this dude had a racket where he was stealing the tax or the government money or for gasoline. He had a whole big multi-million dollar racket taking government money. Do I got to go further? Let's go into politics. Let's get to people that's in these higher places that set these rules. They steal money like a motherfucker. Swiping billions, trillions of government money. And looking at a stupid motherfucker like the nigga that's talking this food stamp shit. Like, yo, you won't even get the crumbs that's left over. Yo, you a dumb motherfucker. So, yeah, it is gangster. You get it how you get it. One of my millionaire friends. I was at his crib. I peeped his card. I was like, oh, you got joints on here? He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, can I hit the store? Yeah, yeah, do you. Millionaire. Because he understands these principles. He knows his reported income may not reflect that million dollar status. And that's what it is. A gangster, yeah, the, the perfect people to get food stamps. Because a lot of gangsters and hustlers aren't working jobs. They're getting it in the street. So the same mentality of them getting it in the street is a word. Yo, I could get this little two, three, whatever a month. Psh, motherfucking right, I'm going to go get that. Check out the Jewish community, at least in here in New York. Them niggas. And remember, those are the money changes, the people that's part of the financial construct and, and getting it. Half the motherfuckers that go to get the joints is them. 
the Hasidics with the garb and the hat and the curls on the side and all that shit. They're in them offices getting their shit in droves. They ain't worried about a motherfucking thing. So that's my little thing I had to say about that nonsense. Top of the food chain, you don't have food stamps, you can't get it. If y'all motherfuckers feel compelled to knock niggas with food stamps, it's going to hit a lot different than a bum that can and won't because he's worried about how motherfuckers are going to look at him. He's a stupid motherfucker.